Welcome everyone. This video is for those who are interested in the longevity of um, this current setup that I'm using, which is the same as uh, a lot of the other videos. If you look at the schematics I supplied in the other videos, um, you can check that out. It's it's very basic. Uh, these batteries here are in series. These ones here, are, sorry, yep, these are in series. These are in parallel. Um, it basically this circuit runs the energy from the series connected batteries through the light into the parallel connected batteries um, I've tried to make it so that you can see uh, there's no extension cables running to um, small nuclear reactors this is all bona fide legit uh, work that was done a hundred years ago and you weren't taught about it and that doesn't mean it doesn't exist um, just because you don't know about something doesn't mean that people weren't using it all the time and you only just found out so welcome to reality <laughs> if that's you um, so now that this is flat I'll just switch this light off so we can see uh, what level of lighting sorry that we have um, coming from that so that appears you know it's quite dim um, so it's something that's interesting and a viewer actually mentioned as well which which I've noted um, the light never really goes out it gets dim and it just for some strange reason is able to keep operating um, whereas if I was to connect this up which I will do after I disconnect this uh, and swap these batteries over we just want to prove that the, the concept is is valid and repeatable and um, if I'm when I connect it up for the control group if I'm not careful it will drain uh, the series connected batteries down to a dangerous level for the batteries and damage them and so that's how all of our appliances uh, at this level of DC usage um, are actually managing these batteries they're, they're killing them on purpose whereas this system here uh, always retains that minimum voltage to keep the light going it's it's not super bright because I've I've stuck it down with tape I can't bring it up to the camera to show any brighter than than what you can already see there so while we've got that overhead light off be good if I could position that uh, so we can see when the batteries go back in the effect of um, of that transfer and we can sort of see that all right I'll, tr I'll try and make this quick okay so we take out the series batteries first oh wow okay so that's out and we'll put them all there so they remain on camera no tricks these cases really don't want to release them okay so series batteries out not being taken off camera no sleight of hand now let's get this one two three and four from the parallel bank now we'll take the series batteries and we'll place them into the parallel side so these are the batteries that were running it and these are the batteries that should be flat or thereabouts having transferred all their power to these batteries which we will now place into the series side 
And when the last one goes in, connecting the circuit back together, we should see the evidence of power having been transferred. Okay, no tricks there. All right, that clearly works. So now what we need to do for those naysayers is uh, have calculated measurement on the normal conventional setup and what that light consumes, um, how many watts it consumes, and then uh, see how long that lasts on a conventional usage. Um, so that's clearly, yeah, that's got power there. I'll, I'll turn that light off again. So I don't know how you can dispute that that's working. Um, I literally challenge you, you know, if you, if you've got a, a, de a decent brain in your skull, have a crack at it. Try and tell me how this is not possible. Calculate the amount of energy that can be stored if these batteries are a hundred percent what they say they are um you know just let's just say everything in a perfect world they say they're 1000 mah let's see you know let's it's, you you add it up i'll supply the current consumption of the light I'll supply the amount of hours that this control test work for if you're not willing to do this yourself. It'd be so easy for you know thousands of people to replicate this, come back into the comments, state what your opinion is, what your evaluation of the situation is. Um, you know, if we can all have uh, a friendly dialogue and we can probably educate each other, um, what I don't need is someone to tell me that I'm seeing things or imagining things because I don't know, but that it doesn't feel too good on the eyes when you look directly at it. And one would suggest that's real. The power, there's no need for me to try and trick you here because you could just, you could catch me out. You could go and put this together. Just like you see it right here. And if you if you need the schematics, check my other videos. Um, please have a go at this so we can work out, uh, get a lot of smarter minds on it. Let's work out why. Uh, why this works, how this works, and why they stopped teaching this. It's so easy, and, and there's a reason why they stopped teaching this. So um, let's all put our heads together. And so now I will stop this segment of the video, and I'll move on to the control uh, test as well. And I'll, I'll post that up uh, separately. So... Um, so we can see the consumption wattage for the light and therefore be able to calculate how long it should last and then compare that with how long it does last all right thanks for watching everyone have a nice day please like share and subscribe